So today on Project Shop, we are on site picking up some transformers. Now, everybody's always asking me how I get so many transformers. Here you have it. This is how I pick them up. Literally overflowing drums full of them. And while we're here, we will pick up a little bit of wire and then some other things that we'll get into later. Well, there you have it. Got a little bit of uh, number one insulated, a whole bunch of uh, aluminum transformers, some copper transformers, and some uh, fixtures that still need to be taken apart. All right, we made it back. It's like uh, almost three o'clock. So I'm gonna hurry up and get those transformers off, up on the table, and ran through that first press, hopefully before five o'clock. Uh, Cause then the second press doesn't make a lot of noise and I can strip all that wire. Um, you know, a little bit later in the evening, and it don't bother the neighbors as much as that uh, transformer press would. <laughs> Okay, so I got them over here. Um, these are the copper ones. These are the aluminum ones and the ballast. Not many ballast. Um, and these are ones from another job. I'm gonna go ahead and get these on the table and run them. And get them out of the way. Uh, that way I can uh, do all these and uh, weigh all this copper and see how much I got off of just this job. All right, there we go. We got them all up on the table. Now I, I separated them. These here from a different job. I'm just gonna run them. It's gonna take like five minutes and then I'll stash them back there um, because I need to get all these out. It's already, it's like four o'clock. Um, so we need to hurry up and knock these out. Hopefully get it done before five. Okay, there you have it. That is the biggest uh, pyramid of transformers I've ever had on this side. <laughs> Normally I would never do that. Um, I'd, run, I'd stack them to about here and then run them, but I wanted to get all of them done. And uh, it's 5.08 now. So at least we got it all, all the noise done before five o'clock. This thing here really don't make much noise at all. We're gonna not, I'm gonna actually take a break real quick, get something to drink. I'm gonna knock these out. And then I'm gonna fire up that wire stripper right there and we're gonna strip all that wire and... All right, I'm gonna get back at it and uh, knock these out and try not to get hit in the head with a transformer because that is literally about a foot over my head and sketchy as, you know. Frickin' check this out. Looks like a, an explosion over here of steel. If you're knocking transformers out and you don't have steel slung everywhere all over the place from your hammer and whatnot, you aren't moving fast enough.
Okay, there you have it. It's uh, 639. And uh, these are the two buckets of cast aluminum. And uh, we got about a third of a bucket of uh, number two copper. I'd say about 350 pounds maybe. Or so, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then this here, the milk crate full of number two copper. And then a little bucket, that was just from some other transformers I just happened to have with me. Um, so we're going to uh, not worry about none of this crap and uh, move right on to stripping wire. Okay, we got the stripper machine all set up. This is the copper wire we got from uh, that customer today. Now, the copper monster over here is gonna chew through this in a matter of, I don't know, 20 minutes or less. Um, so, tis the season to be stripping copper. We might as well strip it off. You know, I got a little chunk over here. Um, this here is some real deal. Brand new, never been used. Um, what's that say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is rated for 2,000 volts. Um, yeah, look at that. That is some serious, serious copper. Uh, it's number two. I probably paid not much for it because it's number two. But we're going to strip it real quick. And underneath there is some a uh, little bit thicker stuff. Um, and we need to strip all of this to get our cart. Because I'm going to use this cart to throw all this stuff in there. Because I'm kind of in a hurry. I want to get this done. Not sure what time it is right now, but it's getting late. And uh, we don't want to be making too much noise past like 8 o'clock. Okay, the camera died. I'm not sure at what point, but um, this is what we got. I literally stripped... 100% of that number one insulate. That's a piece of number two. Um, and it, uh, we're at 825. Now, um, I'm just going to slide that down there a little bit. And then uh, there's no spaghetti wire in here. So I'll know the difference. Um, I want to kind of keep these separate and keep track of the time on that. Because that's with something different. But uh, we're going to get set up and we're going to have some fun with this big old wire right here. Okay, so I made some space so we can uh, run some of this bigger wire here. That's the smaller. That wire there is the smallest wire and it's bigger than everything I just ran. So we'll be able to differentiate, keep it separate. A um, couple little things I got to cut. I got the uh, Centaur jaw out here. Um, we'll cut all this stuff up in the little pieces. Well, not little, you know, these half circles. And then uh, this is number two. Um, we got 96 pounds, so what we're going to do is uh, strip this first and um, see how much it is actually worth stripping. I'm going to say it's worth stripping. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do is take the jaw, uh, cut all that shit right down there, right in half, and uh, run those chunks, put them right back on here. Okay, let's cut this up. This is how I rig my switch. I just wedge it in there. Now, this jaw, I actually like the fact that this is broke because realistically, I can't put something in there that big and cut it. You know, this thing is just not that powerful. I mean, it is, but it's just not that powerful. Um, so I don't have to open this as wide as I would to get everything in there. So we're just gonna um, we'll start with Let's start with uh, two pieces. We don't want to overdo this thing. And we got to keep an eye on the PSI because I was cutting some stuff the other day. Oh, that went right through there. Look at that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Somewhere, someone's crying. <laughs> this stuff was brand new. That was easy. Let's try four pieces. And it's nice because that thing's like a little, uh, let's keep an eye on it. Oh, nice. Right through there. Let's get. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, 
Ooh, that went up to about 4,500. Uh-oh, look, look, look. We, I had this problem the other day. Um, there it is. Um, it deadheads, it locks that thing up. Because I found out when you're cutting the stuff, once you cut it, don't let it squeeze all the way and lock. But this is way better. <clears throat> That's four. Ooh! Yeah, that was 4,500 there. That's all of it. Yep, there we go. something pounds all right Let's see what we got here oh. all right now this thing here now we're gonna run this one and we gotta jack these up Loosen that back one a lot. Well, you know what? This is number two. We might need to keep that tight because what happens is that cuts and that squeezes down and we lose a lot of diamond. We might have to run this one. We'll see. Let me open this up a little bit. If we get this dialed in right, it won't chatter so much. Yep. Oh yeah, see this is gonna be an issue. I don't think that black, that back blade is gonna cut it at all. We need to get tighter. We're gonna have to really crank down on this. My belt might not have enough power for this. We might have to go with that other. Let me run this. Yeah, let me see if I can't get one in here. That's sketchy though. Oh, that's it though. All right, this is what we do. When it's like this, then we jack these up. So they're right there. We might even have to come up a little bit. That back one definitely needs to come up. Oh, that's coming right off. I'm squeezing that super hard. Okay. Now this one here is already messed up. I don't know if I can get it to go through that little one. This thing might get all jammed up in there. Yeah, that's not going to be a good idea. I'll just run it through this one a bunch of times. Hopefully it'll cut it up. I'll probably just have to do that one with a razor blade because it's already already got widened out. The problem with the stick number two stuff. But we run it through this one. Whoa. All right, we're getting into that copper so we can kind of loosen that. It's a fine line with this stuff. All right see where we're at we're gonna come up on this a little bit crank out on this I don't know yeah it's got to be that top one cutting it 
Now, see, this right here is why I have this clutch. I can stop the machine, make adjustments in the middle, and start this up without pulling a bunch of amps on that. Wait till you see what I got coming for this. All right. All right, we're getting better. Let's can loosen that up a little bit. Uh, 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 too loose. Too loose. We gotta go back. Oh, uh, well, you know what? I think we went too high. There we go, that's what it was. I I jacked that up too high. I wasn't letting that blade come down on it enough. We're just gonna let it cut into that a little bit. It's going pretty good. My belt's slipping like a, that belt's slipping on that side too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I just threw the whole belt. Oh, snap. Yeah, this belt's had it. It's all glazed up. And that belt over there is headed too. <clears throat> oh shit. It's a lot harder when you got that wire in there. There we go. Oh, I should have kept track of the time. But this isn't taking that long. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, <laughs> doesn't matter what side you put the thing on. Like I get better traction like that. <laughs> I'm sure we're still stripping. Uh uh. No, no, we're not. We only got two left anyway. I know I'm going to need this. Clean up some of this shit. Oh, looks like a bunch of snakes coiled up. <laughs> Man, this stuff is heavy. Let me get a little bucket for this. pretty easy uh oh this was it's got paper in there too oh man this stuff look how shiny that is what a shame oh man all right these are the ones <clears throat> okay oh this, this 
see. Oh, there's already a groove there. <clears throat> nope. I gotta just pull this shit out of there. <clears throat> oh god, that's tough. <sighs> Switch. Okay. This ain't too bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Even if you had to do it like this the whole way, you know? I think it'd be well worth it. Oh, look at that. Slid right in there like a snake. Alright. Can't believe it. Oh shit. I'm trying to keep it down, keep the noise down. I'm banging sheet metal. Okay. I should have kept track of the time. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. So didn't even take me that long to do that. Sixty-three pounds. Wow. So that was like what, thirty pounds of insulation? Damn. So do some quick math here. So we basically doubled our money in like, I don't know what it take me to do that, 20 minutes, if that, you know? Um, so I made like a hundred bucks in 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. All right, now we're gonna get back on this and uh, the so recorder. We ain't wasting no time. We're just gonna clean this stuff up. Look at this. Oh, man. Use that little tiny cutter in there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's easy enough. That's clean. We got another one. That's so much easier than doing it by hand. Now look at this, got all kinds of weirdness going on here, we'll just trim that up, 
No problem. This thing cuts like butter. That's two hundred dollars I ever spent. Okay. Let's uh cut the back of this coil. Now this might this might be a lot to cut at once, but we'll try it. Let me see. Oh, oh. that was four thousand psi. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we were hitting five thousand earlier. Or 4500 all right so we don't want to we don't want to work the machine too much we'll make uh double cuts just to not kill the thing and i am noticing these little tabs are moving and uh i don't know what they are if they're supposed to be moving but i was cutting a lot of glass with this thing um which is pretty abrasive. Ooh, ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there it is. Thing locked up. Oh, there it is again. I gotta I gotta be careful not to not to let it get to the point. Oh this is bigger. We'll take uh, half of this. Oh yeah. That's easy. We'll take half of this. <clears throat> yeah this thing works great you don't let it lock up and you don't work it too hard way better than doing this by hand you know fighting it by hand let's see 4045 okay all right that shit's good Since we got the machine all jacked up, let's uh, <clears throat> see this heavy stuff when there's kinks in it, it's a really good idea to try as best you can to straighten them out because they get in there and they get all messed up. Now normally you don't want to go more than 80% of the hole, but it looks like this is going to be our hole. How do we do? Damn. Looks like we right on target. Don't even have to adjust nothing. Where's my cutter at? Uh, uh, see? Ah, see this is this is right here exactly why. You don't do more than 80% because if the insulation gets drug up, it does this shit and then you're all messed up and you're winding up cutting the stuff. So we might have to try that other hole, but this stuff here is the borderline. This machine actually needs more holes. You know, you never have enough holes. See that? That's why you got to straighten that shit. It does that and it throws a belt. It's a super, super sketchy setup here. Um, I don't recommend anyone run the machine like this. 
All right, we're gonna try this hole, but look how that wants to float all over the place, man. If we don't get it in the center, it's gonna start doing weird shit. But we'll try it. Definitely a better. Yeah, see? We gotta come down, way down. We gotta give it some more beans. See these big old kinks? This is where. where having a vice um, right on your table comes in handy because you can very quickly kind of um, straighten all this stuff out so that it goes somewhat straight to your machine and let's see how we're doing I'm okay with that all this craziness oh, see I don't think that one did it here's a deal yeah look at this if you don't get on that roller right off the bat this thing goes sideways and you're kind of screwed so that's why straightening these things out is a good idea or let me try this hole one more time. Probably not a good idea. Oh, I can see it building up. See it? Dude, it packed all of that right here. There's more of it in there. There's tons of that shit in that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why you don't go more than 80% of the hole. Now we're in a bind because this stuff here is like almost half of the hole. You want to be in that 75%, 80% uh, area. So another hole would be optimal for this, this one. Let me see. <clears throat> oh man i keep hitting that thing i think it's loud <laughs> i just have to make sure each one goes through oh this is going to be time consuming man You don't have the right size hole. Alright, we're just gonna run this shit. Damn. That one's kinda long. coming in and off on and off of it what we might have to do is tighten up that back side so it's doing all the cutting or we might have to uh, run that shit twice 
to give it a, a thorough. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See that? That's the problem. That plastic. We're just gonna have to run that one. We're just gonna have to try to straighten this shit out as it goes. Cause that other one's too problematic. It's just not the right. Oh, shit man, see? Where's my big cutters at? This shit here. <clears throat> what I'm talking about man, shit getting off. This is why I leave the guards off. And I had a nice pair of needle nose over here, but it keeps fucking disappearing. That's why you really gotta have the middle of this thing accessible. I got some ideas. All right, let's try this shit again. Every single one of them going to leave plastic in there? Well, I just don't like that plastic being in there. smacked in the face now. Nice. That's like rose gold looking copper. <laughs> okay, there you have it. 
<laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is uh, clean that, throw it in that bin. We'll weigh it real quick, see what we made on that particular job. And then we'll add this little bonus that we just stripped here to it, you know? And then uh, we'll add this to the number two copper from that other thing. Man, that thing, that looks beautiful. <laughs> All right, uh, it's getting late, I'm kind of tired. I ate some Chick-fil-A and it kind of really slowed me down. Um, that's why I try not to eat. Every time I eat, man, I want to take a nap. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna um, take a break real quick and then uh, I'll start tearing into this, uh, cleaning this copper up. Okay, we're just gonna throw it right in this bin here. I'm gonna start with this stuff. It is uh, it's about 10 o'clock. And um, this is gonna be a little bit uh, tedious uh, because I ran a whole bunch of long runs. Normally I wouldn't do that with spaghetti wire. I try to keep that shit about 10 foot or 20 foot, you know, around there because this shit's gonna be all tangled up. But we'll get it out of there because most of it is just gonna be pulling it straight out, you know? Okay, that was it. That was super tedious, um, but we got it all done. So I'm gonna weigh this real quick, and then uh, this should go really quick because this is all pretty much just pick it up and put it in the bin. Okay, we got a uh, 103 pounds. Um, 47 pounds on that. Okay, there you have it. And it is uh, 11, 12. So I pretty much started my day today at 11 o'clock. Um, so 12 hours, it's a lot of work. Uh, now everything from this point on is just for the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna weigh up all this copper and see what that specific job made today. And then how much we overall made with the uh, little bonus I had there. Okay, so that's all of it. We have 275 pounds minus the 47. Okay, this is the number two copper from that job. Didn't I say we had 350 pounds? Or I guessed it. So we got 345 minus 29. Now I'm going to add this copper. This is from that, that other job. half a drum now we're up to 406 pounds I'm gonna add So now we're at 471 on the number two copper. Okay, so here are the numbers for that job. Um, I paid $500 for that material, and um, it was actually a little less than that, and I just rounded up to 500. So on the number one bright and shiny, we had 56 pounds of uh, bright and shiny copper at 365 a pound, which was $204.40. Then we had uh, 298 pounds of number two copper at 330 a pound. And um, that was $983.40 for a total of $1,187.80 uh, minus the 500 I paid. So we made uh, 
uh, off that job that day. And uh, the hours we had involved, um, pick up, uh, started at 11, got back around two, it was raining. So uh, I didn't start the next process for like another hour. Um, so it was three hours to pick that stuff up and get it back to the house. Then I had um, two hours processing, pulling that stuff off the trailer and processing it. I actually hung around for an hour, um, waiting for that rain to slow down. Then I was like, F it, I just got to get in there and get it done, uh, regardless of it get wet or not. So um, the number, uh, the second press uh, only took an hour. And this was the uh, getting them off the trailer, getting them on the table, uh, clipping the wires, prepping the transformers, and running the transformers. Uh, I did like 1,600 pounds of material, I think, and that was a couple hundred pounds of ballast. Uh, most of that was transformers. Way, you know, probably most of that was transformers. Um, and then, uh, so basically, the processing three hours on the transformers, stripping wire, hour and a half, uh, 30 minutes stripping. About an hour cleaning up, selling it, another hour. So eight and a half hours, um, $687.80 uh, um, profit. That comes out to $80.91 per hour I made on that job. Now, there's a lot going on that day. I did a lot of other stuff. Um, and look at this. This is uh, what I call effort scrap. The steel, easily $100 in steel. And easily another hundred dollars between the ballast, the number two insulated wire that I clipped off the transformers, and the cast aluminum that was processed that I didn't sell. This stuff here, these three items, I could have sold uh, with this stuff here, but I didn't. As you'll see in a minute, uh, I just took the copper in, uh, and there was some HID fixtures that uh, cast aluminum, copper, and some more number two insulated wire that I didn't um, process. Would have probably taken me an hour or less to do that. So there's probably about another three hundred dollars uh, worth of material from that. Um, now that other stuff that I did, we had uh, 174 pounds of bright and shiny that I processed, um, which was 365 a pound, 635 dollars and ten cents. I probably paid around four hundred dollars for that because you can add about twenty five dollars for insulation. Probably paid two dollars a pound for it, so we'll just say. Uh, four dollars that was from an, uh, another job that I had already got my money back off of and it was just some copper left over uh, the transformer same thing it was from an, another job uh, probably processed a bunch of stuff um, so we had uh, 61 pounds of number two copper from those transformers 330 a pound another 201 dollars and 30 cents and then we had that SO cable uh, I know for a fact I paid a dollar a pound for that um, and we had 63 pounds when we were done, 330 a pound. That was another $207. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I know I paid about a hundred bucks for that. It was 90 something pounds. And these transformers, 61 pounds of number two copper. If you think, uh, 20% copper, 80% steel, uh, plus there were some aluminum transformers. So let's say there was, um, 500 pounds of transformers. Okay. Uh, roughly. And I would have paid 20 cents a pound, you know, so I would have probably paid 100 bucks for that. Um, and all that stuff. Uh, the number two copper was $409 um, dollars extra and uh, 635 So we had an additional $1,044. Um, and then the uh, $1,187 that I made up there added to it. So for a total that day, and then 12 hours, I did uh, $2,232. And uh, for this stuff here, I probably would have paid $600 for that. And I know I paid 500, so I had 1,100 into that. And uh, let's see what we had over here. Um, so we had the 23 minus 1,100. So there was, I made $1,000, $1,132 that day. I did all that in 12 hours. And there was a lot of downtime and me playing with the video and you know so there wasn't a solid 12 but from beginning to end 11 to 11 basically uh if i would have started earlier i could have processed all this stuff and had all that stuff ready to go um and then uh if you divide that by 12 i was making about 94 dollars an hour and if you want to add food and fuel you can take off about 100 bucks let's say you know give or take so um 
we still made $86 per hour. So that's that's pretty good. It was just right on par about what the 80 bucks an hour there going out and picking the stuff up and processing it. You know, if you're efficient, you know, you can make 80 bucks an hour, $1,000 a day if you work hard. And I did all this by myself. Um, so, and uh, here's the ticket. Let's see here. It was, uh, now if you look at the phone and the, the date, this is back on the uh, 12th. It's actually like the 23rd or something of January right now. I haven't worked pretty much since then. I've been doing other things, but uh, that's the weight. We had, um, there was actually a little bit more uh, copper that I found cleaning up. Uh, just a couple pounds on the number one bright and shiny and like 20 pounds I found. Big old coils that I was slinging everywhere. On them copper transformers, man, I'm always slinging stuff. Uh, so we had... Um, eight hundred and thirty nine dollars in bright and shiny and uh fourteen hundred and fifty eight dollars in number two copper and uh let's see what we had twenty two ninety eight so we had fifty fifty extra dollars um that i found that wasn't on this ticket and um also oh. So I haven't really shot that many videos um, lately, or actually pretty much since then, um, but I had a bunch of videos that I found uh, while I was doing this. All these videos here, a couple of these videos. I thought I erased these a long time ago. I'm actually just gonna edit these and get them up. A couple of truck videos that I made, replacing some hubs, and then I just got done shooting another truck video. Here's another video about a thing I made for my mill. I'll get that on there soon. Um, I haven't shot no new videos in the last month, but I got a bunch of them uh, that I already shot. Probably I got five videos. I'll get all of them out to you. And then uh, not this finishing this week, but next week I will uh, be shooting uh, fresh videos for you guys. So um, if you come this far, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. There's a lot of other stuff coming up here. tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. Dancing, you ever seen your copper dance before? <laughs>